Today we're doing a comparison of Squadcast versus Riverside FM. And as you can see, we're in Squadcast right now, and this is Riverside right here. And both these tools are actually very similar. What I wanna do is just jump in the tools here and do a breakdown of some of the big differences that I've noticed. And if at any point, guys, you want more information on these tools, I'll throw my affiliate links down in the description and you'll actually get free trials with both the tools using my links. Okay, so first things, Squadcast is owned by Descript. And if you know anything about Descript, it is a beast powerhouse of an AI video editing tool that is amazing. That's for a whole other topic, but what I'm saying here is if Descript built this tool, I know it's solid. So another thing about Squadcast, one huge difference versus Riverside is that it seems to have a little bit less features and it has more of like a simple usability feature to it. I would like to compare it to more like StreamYard than Riverside. And again, Riverside has a lot more customization. Like for example, I can add a lot more brandability to my streams. I can change the feel a little bit like if I wanted to overlay something like this a text overlay I could do that but you can also do similar things with like the chats like if you were live streaming with Squadcast you can pull up chats and stuff like that on screen so it's not like Squadcast doesn't have some of this but I feel like Riverside just does have a little bit more customization then as far as the layout I can choose the grid layout I can move things around another common question I get is with Squadcast can you share your screen and the answer is yes as you can see here I can pull up a window we could do a reaction to like a YouTube video or whatever you can see here I have a Conan O'Brien video in the background. I could share that while streaming and recording. Another question is how is the quality of the video recording? And honestly, guys, a lot of people are a little misinformed on this, but actually a lot of the quality boils down to the camera you have. For example, this is a Sony ZV-E10 and I think it's like $800. And some of you might be like, whoa, that's crazy, right? I just jumped on Amazon and bought the cheapest 4K camera I could find because it's 4K. And that's a big misbelief. The quality and brand of your camera are huge and detrimental to the quality that it outputs. So even though this is only 1080, 30 frames per second, it looks extremely crisp and clear almost as if it was 4K, right? My feedback would be if your camera looks like crap, it's because your camera is crap. You need to go with big names like Sony or even Logitech. I don't even like saying Logitech. I'm a video geek, but it's decent. Expect to pay a couple hundred dollars for a decent camera. Okay, rant over, I promise. So you can share your screen you can take snapshots which is really cool say if I want to take a picture right now I can take this click this and I could take a snapshot which is cool it's really simple to go record all you do is click the record button on both of these tools right here record and again you can change your cameras as you're doing this there's a setting button in each of these tools I can change the camera quality change the webcam in itself I can also do that in Riverside I can click on the mic I can click on the cam I can switch all of this one cool feature that Riverside has is it has this teleprompter feature feature that I really like. And a lot of times when I'm doing podcast episodes, what I'll do is I'll put my intro up here and I'll have like chat GPT help me with an intro. Hey guys, today's episode one and we're talking about how to make money podcasting. Because a lot of times intros are huge for like your social algorithms. I can't remember them very well. And what I do is I put it up here and then the teleprompter, I just read from it. When I'm done, I just click off. I have not been able to find this setting in Squadcast, just kind of a difference here. So as far as pricing goes, what's really cool is Squadcast is actually pretty cheap. If we click on monthly here and we compare the packages, say if we did this creator package for $35 a month and we compared it to the pro plan for Riverside, it's $29 a month. We get 15 hours of recording on Riverside and then we get 30 hours of recording for Squadcast. So these tools are also very similarly priced, making this decision even harder, I know. So some of the backside features that a lot of us don't know is when you sign up for Squadcast, you actually get Descript use with it. It's a robust AI video editor that is crazy good you can add captions that being said I can also do that with Riverside so if I click on this video right here and then click on edit as you can see there's a robust video editor in here I will say I have one complaint with the video editors uh, this is br a browser based video editor and sometimes it's really kind of you got to wait for it to catch up if you want my honest advice as a full-time creator that gets millions of views every month learn video editing on an actual video editor that's on a desktop if you're a beginner it will work for you and if you don't know video editing it's great to know. So you get a video editor with both of these tools. In Riverside, you can add captions, like check this out, you can add captions. You can actually add images, stock B-roll footage that if you pay for Riverside, you actually get to use within the tool. And videos, you can add videos. Say if you're doing a podcast where you sit there and talk about like a certain thing in the podcast. See, I could add this video as I'm talking about it and it's actually gonna play instead of like having it just always be my front face camera like this. You know what I mean? So that's extremely helpful, I think. This video editor is extremely 
extremely good and I will say that squad cast or descript also have this feature in it so guys this is probably one of the hardest breakdowns on how to decide which tools better I've done in a while because these are both very good I will say I think I personally approve of Riverside a little bit more as far as recording some of these podcast episodes Riverside just kind of feels like there's more settings there's more customizations but I'm a tech geek with that being said if you're looking for simplicity squad cast might be easier to use and again guys both links to these tools will be in the description you'll get free trials with them consider using my links helping one creator to another here and let me know in the comments what are you creating what's your podcast on I love hearing from you guys because it feels like I talk into the void here as a camera consider subscribing this is my breakdown comparison of squad cast versus Riverside FM I'll see you in the next one